this is Corey Coogan Sizek with Cyclocross Magazine, and I'm here with Ellen Noble. Hello. You did your pre ride already today? Mm hmm. What do you think of the course? Um, it's really fun. It's super, super technical, very muddy, uh, lots of elevation change. I think it's going to be really fun, and it's kind of one of the races that I love because even if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. It's just about keeping your head on straight and not like kind of losing control because everyone's going to make mistakes. It's just kind of a matter of like who gets up faster. So I kind of like that stuff where it's like kind of uh, low consequence. So you had an awesome national championship Thank after you. a big block of training. Yeah. Is that your preferred method for going into races? More training, less racing? You know, it's funny. I used to do really, really, really well off of not resting. And I think it's because I wasn't fueling properly. So by not training a lot, I'd come into the races like not completely underfed. <laughs> um, but ever since I started like focusing on my nutrition and stuff like that, I've been able to handle like much bigger workloads going into these races. So I can handle racing. Um, but yeah, I think doing a little bit of training going into like as long as I'm doing something and I'm riding a lot and I'm like, keeping the volume up, I notice just how much better I feel. So speaking of nutrition, mm -hmm. shortly before nationals, yeah. um, there were a bunch of articles published about some nutritional challenges you had. Yeah. Speak to the fact that you were willing to share that with people. Why did you do that? Um, it was something that I had kind of like chewed on <laughs> um, about about sharing for a while, but it was something that was like kind of embarrassing for me to talk about, just because for a long time I had really felt like it was like my fault, like I had made this conscious decision to sabotage my year, and I realized that it like it wasn't. It wasn't like that straightforward. It was really like something that was in my head, and I decided to talk about it because I had like kind of come to terms with it, and I had I felt like I was on the other side. So I wanted to talk about it because I hoped that I could help other people. Like if someone else read that and realized like kind of what they were going through before it was before it was too late, and they had kind of like done irreparable damage, like I did for a whole year. Um, I was hoping that I'd be able to help them. So for me, I've always been really open about that stuff, just because. I want my experiences to help other people, I guess. If you know, if I've already been through them, why not share it? So I'm guessing this is your last weekend of racing with yes. Aspire Racing? Yes, it is. Does that bring any more significance and motivation to your race? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm always like, I'm always gonna go out there and give it my all, but it definitely adds more significance and it makes it really sentimental. It's like weirdly emotional just to know for sure and have like, have other people know about it too because a lot of times like if if I was just leaving the team it would be one thing um, but like since the team is kind of like ending at least in this capacity it's it's crazy and it's something that's like feels really special to have been a part of and yeah it's a uh, it's definitely it's I really really want to go out with a bang so do you think the bunny hop the patriarchy phrase has uh, gotten noticed in Europe uh, a little bit, yeah. I have. Um, I sold a lot of shirts in Europe. I'm still trying to figure out how to get them to everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's starting to catch on, and I do hear it every now and then. But I think um, while the phrase maybe has caught on, I think that it still sort of lacks an application <laughs> in Europe at times. <laughs> Where uh, yeah, I don't always see the all that like equality stuff happening over here as much as we do in the U.S. <laughs> Okay, so thanks so much for your time and Thank good luck you. tomorrow. Thanks.